The Myron demonstrator is a neutrino experiment. Um, it's an interesting experiment in that um, it would be successful if it measured no neutrinos. Um, it's a neutrinoless double beta decay experiment. Um, the goal of that experiment is to test whether or not it is possible for nuclei to decay in a way that we've never seen before. Um, typical beta decay is a single process where a, a nucleus um, converts a neutron into a proton, an electron, and a neutrino. Um, in neutrinoless double beta decay, um, it's a double beta decay process where you have two neutrons converting at the same time, but the neutrinos aren't emitted. Um, they don't come out. And that would be a violation of all of the, the laws of physics that we're familiar with today. There's a, kind of a standard model that uh, physicists have developed over the years. A portion of that model uh, would either be confirmed or uh, refuted in the process of, of measuring neutrinoless double beta decay. Why is that important? Um, it throws into question um, our whole understanding of matter and frankly our understanding of the universe itself. Uh, so the implications of that are that the more that we understand matter, the more that we understand energy, uh, the better chance we have of developing new technologies for the future that in some way are able to take advantage of uh, energy or behavior of mass that we're not aware of today.